Hi girlies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Maria, but my friends call me Ria. First of all, if you see me being extremely close to the camera, it's because I physically cannot get it to move back any further. So I recently took a huge step back from social media just because I felt like my learning wasn't progressing as much as I wanted it to. Kind of got very unmotivated. Studying every day, I was doing my daily check-ins, doing my vocabulary list. It just didn't feel like whatever I was learning was sticking. I filmed so many vlogs of me studying and so many videos to share with you guys. But for whatever reason, I just could not bring myself to upload them, to edit them. I just was so... Ugh unmotivated and eventually everything that i was doing came to a stop i was with youtube tiktok instagram everything i just wasn't posting anywhere realistically the only thing that was keeping me going was you guys i felt like every day i was receiving an overwhelming amount of support from everybody on social media you guys were my driving force at that time you guys are the reason that i've even come this far so i want to say thank you so now that I'm back, uh, first of all, if this is your first time here, stop what you're doing, go subscribe, and then come back to this video, okay? I wanted to give you guys my eight tips on how I kind of regained my confidence when it comes to learning, how I pushed myself to be motivated and productive in my learning journey. Here are my eight ways to stay motivated while studying. If you're feeling overwhelmed, that's basically because you have too much going on in your life that you have no control over. My first tip is going to be to try breaking up the tasks that you have to do into smaller chunks. You do this by taking time to plan out what you want to study. Break that up into goals, kind of like what you want to accomplish at the end of this period, at the end of this study session. Break those up and make them manageable so it doesn't feel like you're doing too much at one time. You can do little tasks, little by little, and eventually you'll get to your end goal. Okay, number two. Create a space away from where you're working. Sometimes the area that you're working in can be a little bit messy, cluttered, or it's not functional, it doesn't work. I had to rearrange my entire desk because it was very hard for me to reach my study supplies because they were in the back shelf. I'm not going in my K-pop albums every day. So why do I have those up front and why is all of my art supplies and study supplies pushed into the back? Sometimes it, I just get bored sitting at my desk. I mean, there's not much to do. It helps to take time to study away from your desk. So declutter or change the, change the scenery, girly. Study on a train, I don't know. Okay, tip number three is to solve your issues ahead of time. This is probably the biggest and most important tip that I have to give to you. There are a lot of things that go on in your life that will hinder you from doing what you wanna do. Things that you need to do will hinder you from what you wanna do. I'm just now doing what I like to call, and I learned this from my boyfriend, he's one of the people that inspired me to think this way. Do it right now at this exact moment, is kind of what I'm calling it. Whenever I have a thought like, oh my gosh, I need to do X, Y, and Z. I need to fold laundry. I need to wash the dishes. You know, whatever it is that you need to do, do it right away. Because if you wait to do it, a lot of stuff will pile up. And then when you get to studying, it's like you have all this stuff in your mind and it's hard for you to concentrate because you're constantly worrying about the things that you didn't do or didn't get done. So if you're going to study and you have a lot on your plate, do those things first. So that when you sit down and you start studying, your mind is clear. Number four is to get into a routine. So if you're very new to studying or you're just now getting into this, like how do I study? How do I be a good student? Sit down and plan out your study routine. First, you need to plan out everything that you're doing within the day, whether that's work, school, class, and then you need to find time slots where you're not busy. And if you're somebody who already has a study schedule and you find that it's hard to keep up with their study schedule, which is me, I'm guilty of this, you work your study schedule. And sometimes I would take public transportation and I would study on the commute from work to home and that was about an hour and it gave me an hour worth of studying time. Plan out your study schedule and if that schedule doesn't work, rework it. And if that one doesn't work, rework it again. Number five, a lot of people are gonna hate this one, but I do find it super, super important is to eat healthy, especially when you're studying. You don't wanna have a meal like something, something just vibrated. I don't know what it was, but I don't have anything in my house that should be vibrating. So, I mean, anyways, that's literally it. Bottom line, basic. You don't wanna eat greasy foods or anything that's gonna make you feel crappy or have the itis because you're just gonna be tired. Who's gonna to wanna to study when they're tired? Not me. <laughs> That's it, once I have a meal and that meal has filled me up, let me tell you I'm hopping on this couch and I'm watching me some K-dramas and you can't get me up. Number six is to try the pompadour technique. End of the sequence of 
time slots and you get to choose the amount of time that you want to study for and then you will break for about five minutes and that's what they call a short break and then you'll break for 15 minutes is what they call a long break so break take a walk stretch it just it basically reminds you to breathe a little while you're studying okay, so we did change scenery just a little bit just so we can stimulate the brain number seven is just to piggyback off the pompadour tip try to study at the same time every day so for me i have different focuses on my phone that i like to use to track my studying mondays wednesdays and fridays are my study days and then on saturday i'll have a superset study which means that i'm studying all three languages typically from like 5 a.m to 12 p.m Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, I am studying at the same time. My timer goes off or my phone switches into study mode at 7 p.m. And I'll study till about 9 p.m. My brain and my mind will be like, this time period, you're supposed to be doing this and you're not. Why aren't you doing it? It's kind of like tricking your body to wanting to study. And number eight, probably another one of my very, very important tips find new inspiration. Now, when I say this, I don't want you to think find a new hobby or find something different. I literally mean find new inspirations. I have my set of creators that I absolutely love and I would watch their content over and over again just because I'm obsessed with them and their personality. But when I'm in this slump, I noticed that their content no longer made me want to be productive. It no longer made me want to um, go and do what I'm supposed to do. I didn't feel motivated even though I love these creators and I think what they're doing is great and amazing and I'm sure they're motiv motivating a lot of people. I just become numb to it. I'm watching all these videos and I'm not benefiting from it at all. So I whipped out YouTube's little search tool and I typed up how can I maintain my study strategy? How can I and I just did that and I found people that I liked and I vibed with and I watched their videos and multiple videos and I became inspired by them. I'm watching some girl who's like how to stay motivated when writing songs. I know damn well I'm never gonna write a song but she motivated me to whatever it is that I want to do continue doing it. What is presented in front of you is not the only thing that you have access to. There are plenty of other things that you can look outward to and gain inspiration from. So explore your options. That pretty much sums up everything that I had for this video. I hope I was able to motivate you or light some kind of spark in you that would reignite a flame that would get you going and back in the game. Girl, Rhea is spitting bars. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what's up with me today. It's the boba coffee mix. That's what it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below what you would like to see from me next. I will leave all of my social medias probably on the screen over here somewhere where you guys can keep in touch with me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, girlies.